Better just look for super glue. very viscous. little succulent I've ever seen. It smells like so many ants, do you see? Beautiful. I made this one at home. It <laughs> you see? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god, come on. Look at the juice. This week was personally a vegan theme week for me, and it started off with our collaboration with the Korean Cultural Center and the Cultural Corpse of Korean Buddhism at the Taste of Paris exhibition. It was showcased and handed out for taste testing. My personal biggest accomplishment was snagging some quality soybean paste and pepper paste and serving up the tasting plates. Uh, there are so many other stalls to get to and I am honestly sad that I missed out on an opportunity to try the Wagyu sliders, but I was so tired I was ready to get out of there as soon as my shift was over. It's a little over 10 o'clock and I didn't get to eat my lunch and here is a Korean place so I'm just gonna get something Yes, yes, yes! After a long week, my friend took me to one of her favorite Indian restaurants in Paris. She's from southern India, and I've learned from her that most of the Indian food we are exposed to are northern Indian cuisine. And this was the first time I got to try India's vegetarian dishes. This is fermented uh, rice and lentil. <coughs> we, then we, like, we run it into a paste, yeah. and then let it ferment overnight, and then you steam it. Um, that's it. This one is just lentils. You do the same thing, you make like a, you grind it, make it into a paste. And then you add a couple of spices. And we have a thing in Korea that's almost exactly like this. Basically a rice cake, but you ferment it via um, rice um, wine. What is that? <laughs> they look like mountains. Wait, is this a dosa? Or no, this is a puri. Ah, puri. It's like a donut, basically. Mm. Like a cake donut. Mm. And lastly, of course, tomato, coconut, coconut, and lentil and chili. What is that? Oil? I'm not sure. How was that? <laughs> yeah, I need to put this down. Like we need another table. What is this? This is the famous dosa. So it's made with uh, batter of lentils and rice. Like all dosas look like this? Yeah. Whoa. I mean, not all of them. It's like a cave. You just like speak this. That's cauliflower. Mm. Oh, it was like dark. Yes. But I wanted tea. I 
enjoyed that meal so much, I went back a few days later on my own. <laughs> Although the food was mostly made with different types of lentils, the texture and flavors were all very unique dish by dish. Dosas were crunchy and buttery, the puri was more so soft and airy, and the idlis, my personal favorite, were plush and moist like our rice cakes. So addictive and healthy. What better combination is there, honestly? Now I'm at a vegan brunch shop called Le Potager de Charlotte, best known for its vegan pancake starters. After enjoying a very cultural meal, sometimes moving on to eat a plain brunch seems more predictable and even boring. I won't say this pancake wowed me with its intense flavors, but just the fact that it was so soft and moist without using any eggs or buttermilk is quite impressive. It is heavier than one would expect from a pancake and tastes more like a Japanese torayaki, but the cream balanced out the richness quite well. There was another vegan joint right nearby called Veganism, so I popped in there just before the pollen allergies really kicked in. This day, grass pollen was super bad, so I was sneezing and crying and my eyes were literally burning. My face got all puffy too, so don't mind my face in the next few clips, please, I'm begging you. Anyway, uh, the reviews for this place was really good, but it was more like a Subway sandwich bar sort of situation. I ordered the black bun bee burger with a vegan bacon and a vegan burger patty. I mean, so this is the vegan burger that. I oh, oh. Why is the bun all melted? And all I see is <clears throat> bun, sorry. It's literally just bun. Okay, no. I ordered the um, the bee burger, which is a bacon burger. So it means it has vegan bacon in it as well. So this is the vegan bacon part. It's pretty good. Why is it good? It tastes exactly like the vegan burger patties that they sell in Korea. Meat delicious. Meat meat meatastic. Meat. Meat of burger. So if you're looking for the meaty, crunchy sort of texture, it's not here. The problem is everything is a little too soft. It's like limpy. Shut the fuck up. All right, we're doing another shot with pineapples. Are you ready? Said that. We can't talk about veganism and veggies without talking about Korean food. Uh, the peculiar thing about Korean food is that when you eat out, it seems like there are almost no non-meat options available. For example, everything that people know about in terms of Korean food is mostly Korean barbecue and Korean chicken. But for home-cooked meals, vegetable options are almost endless. Our food comes from a long history of rice with vegetable-based soups and cooked leafy greens. Dried leafy greens are available in retail stores and has a great shelf life. My personal favorite is gondrebap, which is just rice with a heaping mound of cooked gondre, which is a type of leafy green. And we can put on it a splash of sesame oil and some soy sauce if you feel like it. Goes great with soybean soup, which is of course also vegan. Cater <laughs> 